Good day everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another action figure review guys. And today we have Omega Red. That's right, Omega Red from the Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave and doesn't he look magnificent. This is one of the figures that I wanted to get guys um, for a while. I kind of held off. Um, um, one, two, two reasons why. One is I really couldn't find him anywhere in the stores. Secondly, he was so expensive on the internet. Well, he wasn't expensive, expensive, but compared to uh, other Marvel Legends, you know, he's pretty pricey, you know, compared to other Marvel Legends. So, um, that just repeat myself. <laughs> I think I just repeated myself. Um, of course, um, we're not only going to do a review, guys, but we're also going to do a comparison video and bring in some other uh, figures as well from this wave over there. Did you see him? Oh, my goodness. And we're going to bring out the Wolverine over there. Did you see him over there? Because of his kind of his arch nemesis, so to speak. I don't know if that's really his arch nemesis, but I do remember reading a lot of comic books and seeing Wolverine and Omega Red in some battles. And also, guys, uh, we're gonna do another comparison of the last um, of the last uh, review that I did over there. Did you see him over there? And one of the reasons why I'm gonna do that comparison uh, is because uh, you know uh, is because you know he's one of the uh, figures that kind of looks like Omega Red, and it's actually by um, it's actually with the same. I think it's done by the same artist. I can't remember who the same artist was of this figure you know um i can't remember if it was jim lee uh who created um uh, cyber force over there cyber force and oh yeah wildcats too i don't know if that was his uh you know his thing um as far as creating uh though that those figures that team sorry i'm, I'm kind of like uh <laughs> my mind is kind of all over the place right now it's been a long day so <laughs> Omega Red. Okay, here we go. Um, damn it. Did I bring my knife? I don't know if I have my knife. Oh, yeah, I do have my knife. So let's open this figure up. Like I said, my mind is just kind of all over the place because uh, it's been a long day and uh, and other things too, other personal things as well. So, okay, here we go. Punisher. We got the Punisher knife. We're going to go ahead and break it open and pop that shit open. And we're going to pop this open oh let's see if I can get it open oh why must you be so difficult why must you be so difficult and I'm trying to preserve the box because I love the box oh oh shit I ripped it oh well what are you gonna do you gotta in order to make an omelet you gotta break some eggs right okay here we go so here's Omega Red. Here's Omega Red. Okay, so he comes with the foot. Uh, the other two figures that you guys saw over there, uh, Bishop and then X-23 Wolverine, they both came with the arms of Sauron. So one thing about <laughs> these Marvel Legends guys is they're very, very sneaky, man. Uh, you know, I like three of these figures from this wave. The other three I didn't really care for. The Lady Deadpool, Deadpool, Dead, the other Deadpool. How many Deadpools do you freaking need, man? But all I really need to do is just buy the three Deadpools and I got, uh, Sauron right here. Which, I'm still kind of up in the air, uh, if I'm going to do it or not, guys. Uh, I have no idea yet. So, let's take out... take out Sauron's leg over here so here's Sauron's leg not bad not bad I'm kind of still up in the air if I'm actually going to build <laughs> this Sauron I don't know man so let's go uh, here is his tentacles we'll just call them tentacles <laughs> Um, and I really like the Sauron guys because I remember having, uh, not Sauron, but, but the Omega Red because I remember having them when I was uh, really, really young, uh, the Toy Biz action figure, so. So 
So let's put that off to the side. Okay, so here is Omega Red, and doesn't he look awesome, man? Very, 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 very awesome. Love the detail, love everything about him, man. It's just classic Toy Biz right here, dude. And I'm guessing these tentacles go on here somehow. Hmm, maybe I should write up on the box. Oh, wait, actually, I think you can replace them. So I think you could take these out and then replace them with the longer tentacles right here. And we'll put them right here. So there is Omega Red and his long tentacles. Very, very, very nice figure. Very, very solid figure. Very, very awesome looking figure, guys. Very, very nice. So we'll check out his articulation and we'll go in for a closer look and then we'll do some comparisons with these other figures right here, guys. So, of course, he has the double jointed knees. That's what Marvel Legends do. Did I say Marvel Select in this video? Didn't mean to. Break it here, break it there, break it there, break there. Um... Let's see. Love the knee pads right there. Love the boots. I don't... They, they don't look like boots, man. They just kind of look like knee pads. It looks like... He doesn't even have boots. I think Omega Red is ha supposed to have boots, but it just looks like they put the, the knee pads in to blend in with his uniform. So there's Omega Red doing the splits. There's that. There's this. There's this. There's this. Love the padding. I love the design of this Omega Red. Look how awesome he looks, guys. Very, very, very awesome. Love the face on this guy. Here's the back. Yeah, I'm not I'm not disappointed at all, guys. I really, really love this Omega Red. I love how he kicks up. Kicks up, kicks up, kicks up. Love the detail, love the Omega sign right there. <laughs> really, really awesome. So let's bring in, this is my for my last review, guys. This is Rip Claw right here. Uh, remember I was telling you about the comparisons of the artist who, who did this. I don't know if it was Jim Lee or one of the other image artists who created um, the Cyber Force, but you can definitely see the comparisons right there between Omega Red and Rip Claw. So this was my last uh, review. If you guys didn't see that, check it out, please. So I just want to show you like a little bit of comparison, the pale skin and the design for the face and everything and the hair as well. Very, very similar to Omega Red. So let's bring in Wolverine right here. You see how small Wolverine is compared to Omega Red. Man, look at that. You see how big Omega Red is. So there's Wolverine right there. Um, if you guys didn't see a review of that Wolverine, uh, this is from the Marvel Legends uh, Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. Um, right here is Cyclops, not Cyclops, but Bishop. Here's Bishop standing next to Omega Red. And Omega Red is taller than him, which he should be. Uh, they're both, I think they both have the same body. I could be wrong. They have the same kind of body. Maybe, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But yeah, they're very, very classic. When I look at these guys, they remind me so much of the, you know, 90s Toy Biz figures that I used to play with when I was a kid. Um, and then here is the X-23. Look how small she is compared to Omega Red. Jeez. Omega Red, X-23 Wolverine. Jeez, man. So, yeah, there is... Let me move Wolverine out the way because he's not really a part of this wave, but I felt like I needed to bring him out. So we'll put X-23 over here and Bishop, who's actually in this wave. And, uh, yeah, I, I, one thing I wish they would have done with this wave, guys, is I wish they would have um, added a little bit more diversity, you know, instead of putting three Deadpools in this wave. I mean, how many Deadpools do you need? You know, Lady Deadpool and two other Deadpools that are kind of gimmicky, you know what I mean? I wish they would have added some other figures into this wave, you know what I mean? Like a Storm, or maybe like a Gambit, you know, somebody else from an X-Men, you know what I mean, other than Deadpool, 
I, I don't understand the Sauron connection with Deadpool. So, and here is... Uh, I already showed you the leg. Here's the leg right here. But let me go into the uh, close-up, and I'll give you guys a better look at this Omega Red, man. And yeah, he is just awesome, dude. I love his hair. Love his hands. Love his body. Love the sculpt of him, man. He's very, very nice. Very, very awesome. I do wish they would have gave him some boots. You know what I mean? His his pajama bottoms <laughs> just kind of look like they go together and they just put a, some knee pads right there. And I wish they would have maybe given him a different color red or maybe some white boots. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely think some white boots would have went well with his pale skin. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely like Omega Red. I don't know the story of Omega Red. I definitely know he's a very, very interesting figure. He's, I think he's robotic underneath. Uh, or maybe he has animantium underneath. I remember, you know, reading a comic when I was younger about Omega Red and about his origin. I'm not really uh, too, too familiar with his origin, guys. So if you know his origin, if you know Omega's Red or origin, Omega's Red origin, uh, Omega Red's Alpha, because Alpha means beginning right <laughs> but if you know his origin uh leave it in the comments because i'm always looking to uh learn new things look at that man look at that look how awesome he is all these breaks man marvel legends is just the best in the business when it comes to articulation man just love the face love the hair i love the sculpt i love everything about him Waist swivel, nice break. It's kind of hindered by what's going on right here, but I'm not mad. All these breaks, man, and they do it so beautifully as well. You know, articulation break uh, breaks at the upper biceps, the hands, the double jointed knee, uh, not knees, the elbows, man. He is just on point. I really, really love this figure, guys. I love the padding right here. You see the padding? Love it, love it, love it, guys. Really, really, really do. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate this figure on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest. I'm going to give this guy a 9. That's how much I think this Omega Red is... Uh, how much I think of this Omega Red. How highly I think of this Omega Red. I think he's very, very, very awesome. I really, really, really do love this Omega Red. I recommend him. I love the head, love everything about it, very, 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 very cool. <sighs> very, very nice figure, man. Everything about him is awesome, spot on. Can I give him a 10? Not really. <laughs> The only reason why, this might sound like a stupid reason, guys, but the only reason why I'm not giving him a 10 is because they didn't do much with his legs. You know, they should have given him a boot. You know what I mean? Instead, of they just put these two knee pads on him. I wish they would have given him a boot. You know what I mean? Kind of like, see how they did Bishop right here? Even though it's part of his legs, they still gave him boots. You know what I mean? And also, there's no breaks here at uh, at the uh, shins, which is kind of surprising, you know, for Omega Red and the articulation, the ankle articulation on point look at that man like i said marvel legends is the best in the business they are really really awesome i really recommend this figure guys if you love x-men if you love weird cool creepy stuff like this and i love doing these kind of x-men you know people that are not really familiar with omega red and really didn't grow up you know reading 90s comic books you know like myself you know he's kind of obs obscure action figure you know obscure villain you know that's one of the reasons why i like omega red is because you know there's a lot of people that are not familiar with omega red and i love omega red i think he's really 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 awesome really 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 awesome so guys there was my little review of omega red i recommend him he's an instant favorite of mine he brings back so many memories the detail the sculpture Everything is on point. The color, everything is on point. Except for those boots. What are those? What are those? What are those? Really? But overall, he is awesome, guys. I recommend him. Um, I can't really necessarily recommend this wave. 
<laughs> but I definitely do recommend this Omega Red figure. Uh, I did a review for that Bishop. I did a review for that X-23. You guys have to check it out to see what I rated those figures and if they're worth the buy. But yeah, I definitely recommend this Omega Red, guys. He is definitely awesome, on point. They should have made his uh, Omega sign right here silver as well. Why they didn't do that, uh, that's another missed opportunity by Marvel Legends. You know what I mean? They could have made that silver. You know, being that they made that red, they could have made this silver. You know what I mean? Other than, well, his name is Omega Red. And I understand why it's red, but they should have made it silver. You know what I mean? Being that they made this silver and they made that red, they could have made that silver. So yeah, those are that was my only gripe about this figure, guys. He feels great. He feels wonderful. Sculpture, detail, everything is great other than the boots. That's my only complaint. If they gave him different colored boots, if they gave him boots, you know, instead of the pajama tights, I probably would have gave him, you know, maybe a 10, but he is pretty awesome. I might I could probably detail it myself. I could probably give him some red uh white boots anyway, so Okay, guys, so there you guys have it. There was my little review of Omega Red. We're about to hit the 17-minute mark. If you guys like this review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do all that fancy, awesome, good stuff. And there you go. Uh, hit that notification button if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. There was my review of Omega Red from the Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave. I recommend him. Go get him, guys. He is really, 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 really awesome. So there you guys have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!